try it again. Off of turn number four. Green flag waves this time. And again, Marshall Jewett into turn one. Nick Newton on the inside. Darren Kling in the 30. Pulls alongside Newton. Kling looking for that second spot as they go to turn three. And here comes Shields. Shields on the high side. Kling looking for the lead. Oh, look out. Both cars able to get unhooked. Well, they got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Out front, Marshall Jewett showing his way into turn number three. Yeah. Jewett out front. Then it's the 42 of Shields. Don Mars the nine. Donnie Brown the 26. Darren Kling with problems. Pulls the 30 into the infield. Come around for lap number three. Marshall Jewett showing the way in the 3E. Tim Shields up in a second, the 42. Nick Drew with problems, the 15. He'll head into the pit area. And Donnie Brown with smoke out of the 26. That is not looking good as he goes into turn number one. Marshall Jewett in the three continues to lead. Donnie Brown, a lot of smoke starting to come out of the 26. We come around for lap number five. Jewett holding off the 42 of Tim Shields. Battle for the lead. Here comes Tim Shields to the inside. Shields looking for the lead as they go down to turn number three. Off of turn number four. New leader here on lap number six. Tim Shields at the halfway point. Down the back straightaway. Shields leads him into turn number three. Marshall Jewett sits second. Coming around for lap number seven. Shields out front. Down the back straightaway. Shields starting to put distance on the field as Marshall Jewett sits second. Don Mars runs third. Donnie Brown sits fourth. Shields coming around for lap number nine. Out front, battle shaping up the speedway for second, the three E. Marshall Jewett, the nine of Don Mars. Donnie Brown, a lot of smoke continues to come out of the back of the 26. Two laps to go this time by for the 42 of Tim Shields. Donnie Brown battling with Nick Newton for that fourth spot. White flag waves for the 42 of Tim Shields one more time here in our Grand National A Main. Battle for second on the speedway. Marshall Jew at the three, the nine of Don Mars. Mars takes a look to the inside, trying to take the second spot and clears the three E of Marshall Jewett. And your leader comes off at turn number four. Checkered flag waves for the 42 T of Tim Shields. Coming around for that second spot at the line. It'll be the nine of Don Mars. So Tim Shields picks up our first feature of the night in the 42. The nine of Don Mars will be second to three. Marshall Jewett third. 7-11 of Nick Newton fourth and Donnie Brown the 26th, your top five.
Area Private Car Race fans, big round of applause for your Grand National winner tonight, Tim Shields in the 42 T. There he is, our first feature winner of the night. Big round of applause for the 42T of Tim Shields. And here we go. We'll try it again, side by side. Jay Barnes. up front here in the factory stock a main once we get going jay barnes the 99 jason jason ryan the 27 on the high side ryan your leader marshall jewett now looks to go around the 99 barnes not having any of that he'll battle back as we come around for lap number two jason ryan leads with jay barnes the 99 right behind him then marshall jewett in the 185 of tim billings J.R. Billings, I'm going to get it right one of these nights. Wow, I got mechanical difficulties up here. Threw my line off. Here we go. Off to turn number four. Jason Ryan continues to lead. J.R. Billings is coming back from Branson on vacation. He's had a good run in on that 185. Your point leader, Jason Ryan, your leader in the 27. We come around for lap number four. That is Jay Barnes, the 99, the seven of Marshall Jewett. Jewett battling with Barnes for that second spot. At the halfway point, Jason Ryan leading in the 27. That battle for second continues on the 99. Jason Ryan starting to build a lead in the 27. down here in our factory stock a main jason ryan looking to add to his point lead jay barnes the 99 sits in that second spot to the o this time by White flag waves off at turn number four for Jason Ryan, the 27, your point leader here in the factory stocks. On the high side, Jason Ryan looking for that checkered flag off at turn number four. Checkered flag waves for the 27 of Jason Ryan. So Jason Ryan picks up tonight's factory stock game main.
Jay Barnes, the 99, will come home second to seven to Marshall. Jewett will be third. J.R. Billings, the Batman, 185. He'll come home in the four spot. And Leroy Morris in the 50, your top five. Motive. Don't need case oil, lambs oil. Like to thank Darren for doing that. Neiman Fencing will be doing the hard charger tonight. And uh, Jason Ryan stands out there in the Lakeside Speedway victory lane. Ryan picking up tonight's A main. Put that case oil on the hood there, Darren Kling. Let's get some exposure for the old Kling Automotive. Once 15 lap A main here with our USRA stock cars. We look for the green off of turn number four. Steve Herrick, Chad Walker bring him down the front straightaway. Into turn one they go. Herrick in the middle of the speedway. Here comes Kevin Anderson. Anderson, the 417. Four wide lookout. We come off a of turn number four, coming around for lap one, the 417. Kevin Anderson leads lap one. He's got Chad Walker, Steve Herrick in the 05 of Brad Heater right there with him. Good battle right there through your top five. Anderson leads him into turn number three. We come around for lap number two. Out front, Kevin Anderson. Brad Heater, the 05, the 04. Chad Walker, the 5K of Steve Herrick. Good run for him. Now we got a battle up front. The 417 of Kevin Anderson out front. Here comes Heater on the high side. The big time bail bond, 05 of Brad Heater looks to lead, and he'll take the lead on lap number three. Heater on the high side, Kevin Anderson, the 417, the four of Walker. That's your top three. Right behind him, Lucas Conley. Conley, the 17th seed, looking to make the pass on Chad Walker. Brad Heater puts another lap in the books. Look at Chuck Warman. Warman and Chris Smith stopping over in turn number two. Smith gets the one refired. Refired. Caution on the speedway for the one of Chris Smith over in turn number two. John Bowler outside of Scotty Moore. We look for the green flag off in turn number four. Green flag waves. Heater brings him down the front stretch. Here comes Trevor Hunt. Hunt on the inside, looks to the inside of the 04 a Walker. Three wide, battle for second as they go down to turn number three. Anderson shoots out of that second spot. Trevor Hunt sticking to that inside. Walker able to hold him off as we come around for lap number six. Closing in on the halfway point. Good battle back there from second through fifth. Three wide battle off of turn number two. Trevor Hunt finding something to his liking down to the inside. He'll move up into the second spot. Battling with Chad Walker on the inside. Kevin Anderson on the high side of that sandwich. And Trevor Hunt will run second. Look out! Nice save by the 0-4 of Chad Walker. A little contact between him and Kevin Anderson. Those two cars fall back behind the 17 of Lucas Conley. Caution on the speedway over in turn number two. 99, Jeremiah Ray bringing out the caution. Off to turn number four. Here we go. Green flag waves. We're back underway. Eight laps in, seven to go. And to turn one. 
Trevor Hunt looking for the lead off a of turn number two heater. With the momentum, keeps the lead. Neener out front in the 05. Hunt the 33 suits second. Kevin Anderson to the inside of Chad Walker in the 04. Anderson looking for that third spot. Lucas Conley gets around the 417. He'll move up into fourth. Lucas Conley finding something to him on the high side he likes. There he goes around the 04. Chad Walker, the 17, on the move. Looking for that third spot. Now here comes Steve Herrick. Herrick ducks down to the inside trying to get around Kevin Anderson for fifth. Herrick on the move in the 5K. Ten laps down, five to go. Waves. Heater goes down to turn one. Here comes Trevor Hunt to the inside one more time. Hunt trying to get around the oh slides up on him coming off a two. Heater keeps the lead. And we come around for lap number eleven. Four to go this time by Heater out front. Down the back straight away. Lucas Conley up into that third spot, trying to close in on Trevor Hunt for that second spot. Steve Herrick making a move now. Herrick up alongside the wall. Down the back straight away, Heater. Three laps to go. 33, Trevor Hunt sits second. Lucas Conley right there behind the second place runner Trevor Hunt. Three wide battle for fourth. Good battle back there. The 04 of Walker, 417 to Kevin Anderson, the 5K is Steve Herrick. Those guys side by side. Two laps to go now. Three wide battle for that third four spot continues. And now you got a battle for second. Lucas Conley is caught up with Trevor Hunt. As Heater brings him down the front straightaway, white flag one more time. Here in tonight's USRA Stock Car A main, good racing throughout the field. Heater down the back straightaway. Trevor Hunt moves back into that third spot. Lucas Conley up into second. Good run for the 17 as they battle for the white checkered flag off of turn four. Brett Heater picks up the win. Lucas Conley, the 17, will come home second. Trevor Hunt will get third in the 5K of Steve Herrick. No, no. Down the car, the 05 of Brett Heater, picking up tonight's USRA Stock Car A main. He gets a case of oil courtesy of Kling Automotive. Like thank Kling Automotive, Neiman Fencing, and Jocelyn's Jewelry for helping us out tonight. There they are down there in the Lakeside Speedway Victory Lane. We get the Victory Lane photos. Trophy courtesy of Victory Trophies. Much better start. We look for the green. Here we go. Down to turn one. 
Little contact there. The 70 of Jesse Dennis, the 91 of Joe Duvall contact. Both of them able to continue. Well, Tyler Wolf leads them down to turn number three. Gary Davis alongside Joe Duvall for that fifth spot. Now, as we come around for lap number one, Tyler Wolf out front the 4W. He'll lead lap number one. Jesse Dennis battling with Mark Schaffman. Dennis the 70D on the inside. Schaffman with a good run off of two. He'll pull alongside Tyler Wolf. As they go into turn number three, Schaffman working the high side. Wolf working the low side. Jesse Dennis right behind your leader. Well, two laps in the books. Tyler Wolf, Mark Schaffman, Jesse Dennis, three car breakaway. Schaffman, no stranger to victory lane here. Lakeside Speedway picked up two wins earlier on. And Kerry Davis, your point leader, starting to pick his way through the field. Davis up into that four spot now here on lap number three. Now Jesse Dennis pulls alongside Tyler Wolf, trying, trying for the lead. Here comes Schaffman on the high side. Schaffman right there with the 4W of Tyler Wolf. Jesse Dennis able to work that low side. Four laps in the books. Down the back straight away. Your leaders come off at of turn two. Shaftman alongside the 4W. They go down to turn three. Tyler Wolf with the momentum on the low side. Shaftman working that high side. We come around five laps down this time by and Shaftman. Side by side, they go down to turn one. Tyler Wolf, Wolf working that low line. Schaffman the high line. Here comes the momentum. Schaffman takes the lead off at of turn number two. New leader, the 34 of Mark Schaffman. Put the four, Tyler Wolf back to second, and you got a new player in the game. Here comes Kerry Davis up to battle Jesse Dennis for third. Aaron Morant right behind them, fourth in the 1K of Tim Carrick, your top five. Take that back. Aaron Moran is in fifth. Carrick in sixth. Top four breakaway. Shaftman out front. Tyler Wolf second. Jesse Dennis sits third. Then it's Gary Davis as we work lap number seven. Chapman starting to put distance on the field now. We come around for lap number eight. Tyler Wolf holds down second. Jesse Dennis back to third. Dennis up to the high line now, as is Tyler Wolf. Davis, the lone guy running the bottom of the speedway in the 68. He sits fourth. Aaron Morant fifth as we come around here for lap number nine. Davis working on Jesse Dennis, the 70 for that third position. They go down into turn three. Davis will slide up in front of Dennis. Dennis goes down for the high low. He'll look to the inside. Dennis holds on to third. Davis on the high side now. Trying to take that third spot away as he works to the high side off of turn number two. Davis moves up into third. Move the 70 at Dennis back to fourth. Dennis not going away, though. He keeps working the low side of Davis. They come off at of turn number four. Down the back straightaway, Shaftman starting to put distance on the field. The four, Tyler Wolf sits in that second spot. Oh, Shaftman, a little bobble over there in turn number four. Drifted up towards the wall. Tyler Wolf sits in that second spot. Kerry Davis runs third. Good run for the 4W. As he holds down second, we've got eight laps to go this time by 17. Seven laps to go, 13 down. Here in our 20 lap A main, the 34 is Shaftman out front.
Davis takes a look at second from the four of Tyler Wolf. Wolf able to hold him off. Six laps to go this time by Shaftman. In command, working that high line. As our leaders start to get the lab traffic, well, let's see how this plays out. Shaftman with quite a bit of distance between him and the second place car, Tyler Wolf. And now Davis takes a look for second as they went into turn four. Five to go this time by. And now Davis goes low and they go into turn number one, trying to get around the four of Tyler Wolf. He'll slide up. Wolf goes low. He'll take the second spot. Davis giving an effort, though. Shaftman brings them off at turn number four. We're starting to get a lap traffic at 21 of Lance Town into the infield. And now Shaftman has the 99 in front of him and the 13, but laps winding down. Be two to go this time by. Oh, 16. 16 down. Four laps to go this time by. So lap traffic might get into play. Shaftman right behind the 99 at Dylan Hoover, the 29 at Jeff Smith. And we'll get the two to go sign this time by. Two to go. They go down the back straight away. The 34 of Shaftman is in lap traffic. Let's see if the four of Tyler Wolf can catch up. We'll get the white flag this time by. Look out, Shaftman slides up in front of the 99 of Dylan Hoover. White flag waves at your leaders. All bunched up behind lab traffic. They go down into turn number one. Davis working that low line, trying to catch up with the four of Tyler Wolf for that second spot. And we got into turn three for the final time. Shaftman. Will come off at turn four. Davis gets a run at Tyler Wolf. Coming off at turn number four, Mark Shaftman picks up his third feature win. Tyler Wolf, good run for the 4W. He'll come home second. The 68 of Kerry Davis will be third. 70 of Jesse Dennis. Good run for Dennis. First time here at Lakeside Speedway. And he'll come home in that four spot with the 70. Last week's feature winner, Aaron Morant, coming home your top five. Is out of the car, Mark Shaftman picking up the feature win tonight. Shaftman picking up his third feature win here this year at Lakeside Speedway. There's Darren Kling down there to hand out the oil from Kling Automotive. And we got another happy driver standing down there in the Lakeside Speedway Victory Lane. Mark Shaftman, your feature winner tonight. And we'd like to drift attention to the scoreboard, please. That is your 50-50 winning number. If you have this number, please bring it to the Lakeside Speedway Souvenir Trailer. It is 5128442. Once again, ticket number 5128442. If you have this ticket number, please bring it to the Lakeside Speedway Souvenir Trailer. Yancey Shepard on the inside, the 22Y. Stephen Clancy outside row one. 20 laps of USRA, B modified A, main come at us. Here we go, off the turn number four, green flag waves. Yancey Shepard working that low line. Here comes Chad Lyle, the 07. Shepard, the two, the 22Y, the 07. That's Chad Lyle. Here comes the 222 of Colt Stevens. Stevens working that high side as we come around for lap number one. Lyle by a nose at the line. Yancey Shepard battling back on the high side. Lyle leads him off at turn number two. J.C. Morton. Working his way through the field. Lyle comes around. He'll lead lap number two. Chad Lyle out front. Yancey Shepard sits second. J.C. Morton, the 18, runs third. Stephen Glancy 
Fourth in the 12 seed, then the 222 of Cole Stevens. Here comes the Kenny's tile, number 99 of Brad Smith. Smith, last week's feature winner, working his way up through the field. Chad Lyle hugging the bottom as they come off of turn number two. We've got three laps down, 17 to go early on here in tonight's B Mod A Main. Big money up, $1,500 to the winner. They come down the front straightaway. Lyle will lead another lap. Yancey Shepard has settled into second. J.C. Morton, the 18, runs third. Stephen Clancy, the 12 C sits fourth. And then Brad Smith, your top five. Smith, the 99. Back there between Ethan Isaacs and the 181 of Luke Neiman. Three wide further back in the field. Chase Austin. Austin in the 111. Moving his, his way up through the field. Cracked the top 10 now. The 07. Chad Lyle continues to lead. Yancey Shepard. Everybody behind your leader starting to search for a line now. Shepard has moved down to the inside. J.C. Morton has moved up. Seven laps down this time by and out front. Chad Lyle continues to lead. As I said earlier, Lyle has had one run here at Lakeside Speedway with that car and led to the white flag. Motor expired. Looking for a little better luck tonight. Eight laps down this time by. We've got 12 to go. Field starting to spread out now. The 07 of Lyle continues to lead. Yancey Shepard, the 22, runs second as he has since the drop of the green. J.C. Morton running third in the 18. And then it's the 99 of Brad Smith. The 222 of Colton Stevens has cracked the top five now as we close in on the halfway point. Nine laps to go this time around. Chris Jackson in the 65 starting to work his way through the field. He's back there battling with the 12C of Stephen Clancy just outside your top five. Clancy's in six and he's battling with Chris Jackson and Jackson will clear the 12C on lap 10. Nine laps to go this time as Lyle brings the field off at turn number four. Yancey Shepard starting to close in on your leader. Not sure if Chad Lyle's slowing down just a little bit of the 22, finding the fast lane, but right now, Shepard right there with your leader. Then it's the 18, a little further back from the second place car is Shepard. 18 to J.C. Morton sits in that third spot, and he's got company. Brad Smith appears to be speeding up as well. Smith finding something right in the middle of the speedway, and it looks like Yancey Shepard may have as well. He starts to close in on Chad Lyle. So your top four have broke away from the rest of the field. We come around this time by. It'll be lap 13, seven laps remaining, and it's starting to heat up up front. Chad Lyle up front, but he's got company. Here comes Yancey Shepard. Shepard has found something, and he's going to look to pull alongside Lyle. Lyle with a good runoff for two, so he will keep the lead. Looked like Shepard may have a run going, but he didn't. Settles back in behind your leader. They come off a of turn number four, 14 laps down, and here he comes. Right alongside Chad Lyle, the 07. They go into turn number one. Shepard working the middle of the speedway. Lyle working the bottom, and there goes Yancey Shepard, new leader on lap 14 as they head down into turn three. Shepard working the middle of the speedway. Right behind him is the 07 of Chad Lyle. Battle for third on the speedway. Now the 18 of J.C. Morton, the 99. Brad Smith, Smith, last week's feature winner. Trying to close in on your leaders. We've got five to go. The 09 pulls off the back straightaway. Nine. 
Nancy Shepard brings them down the front straightaway. 16 laps down. We've got four to go. Shepard driving for Tanner Racing. Mike Tanner sitting at home waiting to hear the results on this one. And right now, sounding good for Tanner Racing. is down the back straightaway. Nancy Shepard starts to put distance now on Chad Lyles. They go into turn number three. Chris Jackson has cracked the top five with the 65 as they come around lap 17. Three laps to go. And Colt Stevens comes back around the 65. So good battle back there for fifth. Well, laps winding down here for the Joe Berry clash of the USRA B mods. And right now, Yancey Shepard looking to pick up the second annual. And here he comes down. We've got two to go this time by. Two more laps for the 22Y. They go down the back straightaway. They'll head into turn three. And 111 of Chase Austin pulls into the infield. Your leaders go into turn three. They'll come off at turn number three. They'll see the white flag. White flag waves, and here comes Brad Smith. Now Smith looks to get around the, the 07 of Chad Lyle. They've got two corners to get it done as your leader comes off at turn number two. He'll lead into turn three. Yancey Shepard wants to see that checkered flag as he comes off at turn number four. Here he comes. Checkered flag waves, and it goes to the 22Y of Yancey Shepard. So Yancey Shepard, the 22Y, picks up tonight's B-Mod. Joe Barry, B-Mod, U.S. So Yancey Shepard picks up tonight's Joe, Mar Joe Barry, B-Mod Explosion. So Yancey Shepard picking up the win tonight. Brad Smith, the 99, will come home second. The 07. Chad Lyle comes home third. The 18 of J.C. Morton fourth. And a good run for the 222 of Colton Stevens. He is your top five. And there he is out of the car. Play two of Yancey Shepard. We'd like to thank the Berry family for helping us out here with the Joe Berry. B-Mod Explosion, second annual, and what a race it was. Green, white, checkered. No cautions during tonight's B-Mod AMA. And Yancey Shepard picking up the win. And Dorothy Berry down there to give out the trophy tonight. We'd like to thank the Berry family for all their involvement here at Lakeside Speedway.